This is a review of the Multitags APIs and Tag Access script. This video assumes you have already watched the Multitags overview and are familiar with the control panel. Let's begin by opening the Tag Access script that is generated from the control panel. The Tag Access script provides type safe access to the Unity tags. The Tag Pass property is used by the internal Find APIs to facilitate searches. Tag groups are represented as nested classes to provide code completion and discovery. For example, you could type color followed by period to discover all the color tags. Let's switch over to an example that uses tag access script and multi-tags APIs. This example mono behavior is attached to a game object so you can observe the results at runtime. The Find Game object contains many overloads to provide power and flexibility. In this first example, we find all game objects that have tag T1. The checker below prints the results and confirms game object Go T1 and Go T1 T2 were found. Here we use the tag access script to specify tag T1 in a type safe manner. In the next example, a Boolean operator is specified along with multiple tags. The following example shows how a complex tag pattern can be specified. Note the GUI has a drop-down menu to help develop and test a search expression. Here we use a regex pattern to find game objects with a tag starting with T. Any valid regex pattern is permitted. This example uses an extension method to further search a set of game objects. The starting set of game objects are expanded based upon the search criteria. The next group of examples search for game objects by tag group. Here we are looking for a game object with color blue tag. We can also search for a game object with any color by specifying any. This group of examples checks if a game object has a specified tag. Here we are checking for the existence of a single tag. In this example, we are using a Boolean expression with multiple tags. The next group of examples show how to modify the tag of a game object. Note that a tag path must already exist for it to be assigned at runtime. The first example adds tag T2 to a game object. Next, we remove tag T1 from the game object. Let's switch back to the editor to see the searches in action. The example script is already located on a game object, so let's hit play. The console now shows all examples passing and you can pause the video to analyze the results. For additional help, check out the documentation, forums, and API reference. To learn more, please visit AI Unity website. You can also explore the featured products below. Be sure to subscribe to stay current on all AI Unity products. Thank you, and stay tuned to this product's playlist to complete your training.